everybody, and uh, welcome to the ATSF Paradigm Division. Uh, today we're going to do uh, part two of myself and Ralphie learning how to use uh, the JMRI Decoder Pro software program. And uh, I just want to share some of the things that I have learned uh, by doing the program or using it. And uh, also, I do want to mention that uh, sometime in the next week, I'll be announcing a subscriber contest, and there will be a, two prizes at least, uh, one for uh, HO and one for N. And if someone is a uh, got a scale other than that, then we'll have to figure something out. But but anyway, I uh, just want to let you know that, and uh, so... Uh, Please watch the video, uh, and if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm not an expert in Dakota Pro. I'm just learning it. I mean, it's bad enough i got to learn how to use a PC since I'm a Macintosh guy. But, uh, but anyway, uh, enjoy the video, and let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you later. Bye. Hi, guys. Uh, this is going to be uh, part two of me uh, trying to learn how to use JMRI's uh, Dakota Pro software. So today I'm going to show you how I, I do a couple of engines uh, and it'll be broken up into bits and pieces. So the first thing we're going to do as I, sw as I swing down is I'm going to hook up the uh, uh, Keyspan trip light uh, interface to the uh, NCE uh, command station booster right here. So I'll, uh, I'll do that and then I'll show you what else I do. Bye. So now you'll see uh, the serial cable is hooked, is hooked up here. And then if we follow it, it's, uh, of course it converts to USB. Here's Ralphie helping me. I'll put him up here for the time being. Um, and it's connected to the PC over here. And then I got... Uh, my Apple mouse. See, it's ironic. I have an Apple mouse on my PC and I got a three button uh, Razer mouse uh, on my Mac. So uh, I kind of like to try to flip them around. This thing is just uh, just extra. But anyway, so now it's, uh, it's set up and uh, I've got my uh, power packs light on down there. So that's ready to uh, work with my uh, programming track so uh, but anyway we'll uh, we'll get back to it here in the in the next segment all right here you'll notice here is panel pro and decoder pro is up here this is decoder pro this is the one I want so we'll we'll open that up And there's some of the engines that I showed you the, uh, the last time. So, uh, so this is the, uh, the Decoder Pro, and then you, it's on. It's now on, and I've got it, if I can get it over there, set up to talk to the programming track. The reason I like to go to the programming track is because you can see all the CVs and all the settings that these engines are, are come from the factory before you before you set them up. So but anyway, um, I'll go to the next segment. So here I have placed a, uh, this is a Broadway Limited E6A number 12. And uh, it, I'm going to try to go ahead and enter it into my uh, Dakota Pro database. So it's on the programming track, ready to go. We'll come back over here and up here you add new loco. And you can say here, read type from decoder, which is what I'll do. And it's a Paragon 2, I know it's a Paragon 2, diesel and it's operating see it says it already knows that it's operating with its uh, short address 
And what I have to do here is, is type in, in the data and I'll do that and I'll come back. So what I've done is I've added in the, the roster ID. Uh, you'll notice the, uh, where it says the short and the long, there's a, it's highlighted. So I'll just click right. I don't ever know if that's right or wrong but it, it works and then I'll save it and it goes into my uh, roster. And there it is at the top. So we've now saved that, that engine onto Decoder Pro. But now what I need to do is go in and open up the Comprehensive Programmer. So here, this is one of the pages and you'll see you got the entry, roster entry, basic, motor, speed control, speed table, functions, lights, etc. And so I'll fill this out here and then we'll go to look at some of the other items. Okay, so you can see where I've added some more information here. It's just kind of a repeat of the, uh, the shortings thing, but it, it now fills out the rest of the information and we'll tell it to save to the roster. Okay, so it's saved. Now, what we'll do is we'll go to the motor. And you'll notice it comes from the factory like that. I'll just leave that alone. I'll just tell it to write the full sheet just to make sure everything's there. Notice it's got the EMF enabled, which is okay, because it's going to run with another um, BLI uh, engine at some point. So then we'll go to basic speed control. And I'm not going to use that. I want to see what the, the speed table is. So we're on the speed table. I'll tell it to write this. I mean, you know, there's a lot of different ways of doing this, and this is the way I've learned to do it. So good enough. I'm I'm not worried about these functions are changing. You don't want to go into the CVs. You can go here and change. I change a lot of these on the Digitrax one, but not too much on the BLI Paragon 2s or 3s. Speed tables are uh, 67 to 90, 94. So they're from files, stored, and so on. So I just tell it to write the full sheet. So it'll, everything that's in yellow, it'll, it'll write, like I say, some people may not do it this way. This is the way I'm doing it. And then it seems to work. It's still writing. You can see down at the bottom here, it's, it's telling you, now it's done. So, all right, so now that one's been added and done the basic programming. So we'll put it on the track and see if it runs okay. So there I, there it is on the track. I went ahead and started it up. There's the headlight. Let's see, is the headlight on? These are kind of, yeah, it's, it's on now. So, uh, and here we have on the, the Pro Cab See, uh, local 12, forward. There's the bell. And the whistle. Now, if I wanted to speed match this to a B unit, uh, I would have to warm this one and the other engine up after the other one would be programmed in the Dakota Pro oh, 20-30 minutes or so just to make sure they're nice and warmed up 
Everything's moving and uh, and then getting matched. So, but that's that's a whole nother uh, video worth of uh, programming to do. And I've done it both. I have, uh, if you notice, I put this in my my holders here. There's there's uh, this is the track here that goes into staging. This is the one that comes out of staging. Right? Lots of times I run them on parallel tracks in here when I do uh, uh, speed matching. I do have a circle of track that I have used. Uh, the BLIs don't seem to like that very much for some reason, so but I tend to do it here. And for those of you guys who are wondering what all this is, this is uh, how I kept track of my main buses for power. and. Uh, so if I wanted to know on the main bus, the main level bus one, it's got two blue tapes and it's red and green wire. That's just that's just the way I did it. So uh, so both the red and the green wire would have two blue tapes on them to distinguish them from the other buses. So I mean each one of them. So uh, the same thing with the uh, staging level. And then it all comes down to here, and you can see all the lights from all my uh, circuit breakers. Those are the DCC specialty ones. So. But anyway, that's all for today. And uh, so for Ralphie and I, uh, thank you for uh, listening and uh, watching our videos. Bye.